Okay, so today we're going to talk about uh, graphing the sine and cosine function uh, using what we call the slash method. So this will make your graphs nice and pretty and you'll be able to graph it and have everything nicely labeled. All right, so let's just go over a couple of the key features again from yesterday. So the amplitude, in this case it's the absolute value of 3, which is 3. The period is 2 pi over b, which is 2, and that is pi. The number of cycles is the absolute value of b, which is 2. And then we have the midline. Remember, the midline is what is being added or subtracted at the end. Since there's nothing added or subtracted back here, it is just y equals 0. And your range is how far up and how far down it's going uh, from the midline. So it's going up 3 and down 3. So it's going down 3 from 0, so it's going to negative 3. It's less than or equal to y. It's less than or equal to, and it's going up to 3 from the y equals 0, and therefore it's just 3. Okay, so now we're going to take this function, and we're actually going to graph it. Okay, now notice how what I'm graphing. I'm graphing in a 2 pi interval. So anytime you graph, uh, a sine curve or cosine curve, I always want these key features written down. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things. So it's the five that we've been working on, amplitude, cycles, period, midline, and range, and then these two are new, okay? The slashes and your X scale. All right, so your amplitude is the absolute value of three, which is three. The number of cycles is the absolute value of two, which is two. Your period is 2 pi over 2, which is pi. All right, your slashes. There's a formula for this. Your slashes is 4 times b. So this is 4 times 2, which is 8. Your x scale is 2 pi, it's a formula, over the number of slashes. So in this case, it's 2 pi over 8, which is pi over 4. Your midline, remember, is what's being added or subtracted at the end. There is nothing being added or subtracted at the end, so it's just y equals 0. And your range, we're going up and down to 3 from the 0, so it's negative 3 is less than or equal to y is less than or equal to 3. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to label. So you draw your, uh, you draw your axes, your x and y axis. Make sure you label. Okay, they're labeled for you, but if you have to draw it on your own, you have to make sure that you do label your axes x and y. All right, now we want to, our amplitude is 3, which means we're going up to 3 and down to 3 from 0. Here is y is equal to 0. That's my midline. It's actually the x-axis, y equals 0. So that means we're going up to 3 and down to negative 3. So you can label it just like that. I mean, if you want to put the slashes in other, the other ones in there, you can, but you don't have to. All right, now your, your x-axis. You get that from here. The number of slashes is 8. So you're going to put 8 slashes on the x-axis. Try to make them equally spaced. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now you're going to label them. That's your x scale, which is pi over 4. So the first one's going to be pi over 4. And then 2 pi over 4. 3 pi over 4. 4 pi over 4, which is pi. 5 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4, and 8 pi over 4, which would be 2 pi, which makes sense because I'm going from 0 to 2 pi, 0 to 2 pi. Okay, so now we're going to start graphing. So when we graph, all right, so when you graph, you are going to start by putting the point on the y-axis where you always start. Now, sine always starts at its max or min, and cosine starts at the line, the midline here. Okay? All right, so sine starts at the midline, which is going to be right here. So that's where you put your first point, right on the midline, right at zero. So now, each one of these points here, each one of these slashes, is going to have a point. Each one of these. The point will either be at its max, on the x-axis, or down here at its min. All right, so now think of the sine curve, right? Remember, I'm just going to draw really quick. Sine looks like this. 
okay? So it starts here and then it goes up to its max. All right, so then at pi over four, we're gonna go up to our max, which is three. Now look at the sine curve up here, up top what I drew, right? It goes up to its max and then it's gonna come down and hit the x-axis. So then at so then at two pi over four, you're gonna hit your x-axis. All right, look at the curve up here. It comes down, hits the x-axis, and then it goes down to its min. So then at three pi over four, it's gonna go down to its min. So put a point. So then after it's min, look up here at the top right, it's gonna come back up and hit the x-axis. So at pi, your curve is gonna come back up and hit the x-axis, and it's gonna continue in that cycle. So at pi, five pi over four, it's gonna come up here and hit your max, which is at three. And then it's gonna come back down and hit the x-axis at six pi over four. And then it's gonna come down to its min at seven pi over four. And then it's gonna come back up and hit the x-axis at two pi. Okay, so we have all these dots. Now we have to connect the curve. It shouldn't, when you connect the curve, it should not look like this when we're done. It should not look, look like this up here. Okay, because it's not straight. It's a curve. So it has to be curved. So now we're going to start curving it. Ready? Start here. It's going to go up, down. It's going to look like hills and valleys when you're done. So that is my graph. I'm going to do a quick check. It show us check. Here's one complete sine curve. Sine curve looks like the letter S. One sine curve in this interval of pi. That's what I have here. That's the period. One complete curve in pi. Now I have one, two curves in two pi. That's the number of cycles I should have in two pi. I'm going up to up three, one, two, three units, down one, two, three units. My range is from negative three up to positive three. And my midline is at y is equal to 0. Okay, so that's it. And we'll practice some more of uh, sine. And we'll practice with cosine tomorrow. Okay, so this actually should have been from here. All right, so have a good night.